Hey guys, so I am making lemon cello. <laughs> when me and John first moved to Tennessee, we went to a restaurant for our anniversary um, in Nashville called Valentino's. And on the house at the end of our meal for dessert, they said, do you want a shot of lemon cello? Homemade lemon cello. And let me tell you, it was the bomb. They had the bottle in the freezer, so you got these ice crystals in the shot glass. Lemony, very, very sweet. Um, nothing that you might want to do more than a shot of because it is very sweet. But it was so tasty, and when we found out that it was homemade, obviously that means you can make it at home. So, of course, I Googled recipes. Um, David Rocco has a recipe. Uh, Giada de Laurentiis has a recipe. So I think I combined the two. I don't know which one I looked at. So we made this at Christmas time and brought it over to a friend's house. We've made it on two Christmases since we've been here. Um, one Christmas, we had a whole bunch of people in this house. And we shared the shots. And another Christmas, we brought it over to our friend's house and had shots there. Because now we don't do the big group of uh, people over for Christmas. So you do need 10 organic lemons. And when I say organic, I mean get organic. Because what you're doing is you are taking just the yellow off. That's it. You are trying to peel just a lemon oil. Uh, yellow off you do not want to try you don't want to get a lot of the white pith in there otherwise it'll come out bitter so as carefully as possible you are going to zest all 10 lemons just the yellow skin so therefore you want organic because you don't want pesticides waxes sometimes they actually put waxes on lemons so you might want to like i said i wash these um but organic is definitely imperative otherwise you're going to be drinking toxic chemicals and stuff so i'm going to zest all 10 of these and put it in my glass jar and um and then i have gray goose vodka i believe that's 500 and 750 mls gray goose vodka and that is pretty much step one, because it takes a couple weeks. You need a good two to three weeks before this really is tasty for you, because um, it has to just sit there and extract. So let me get started. So I'm going to be here a while, but here is as close to the pith. So you're always going to get a little bit of pith there. Um, it is definitely difficult. I'm going to be here a while, but yeah, I'm going to try to cut just the yellow out. So that's, that was pretty good enough. And you can smell how much essential oil is in the rind of a lemon. I mean, all that lemony flavor is right in the skin so I mean it's with all the lemons people use and we just use the juice there's a lot of flavor in that skin there are the rinds as best as I could some of them I had to cut some of the pith out if you have a little bit of pith that's okay but really, really got to do your best to not get any at all. Um, like this one was really good. Pretty much. I had to use a real sharp knife. Um, it's not easy doing it with this. This comes out too thick. And then here are all my lemons all peeled. So, I mean, you can make lemonade. If you're going to cook, uh, add them to your water. Uh, but store them in the refrigerator now because now they can go bad a lot faster. Um, so in this glass jar, I got my 750 ml Great Goods Vodka. And then you just pour the whole thing in. Of course, you can make as much or as little as you want. I want to make the full jar because... Christmas time, we'll have a full jar to share with friends. 
There you go. Last year, I think we made two jars. So that's going to sit there, and I'm going to cover it so no dust gets inside of it. Wrong way. You like my minion duct tape? My minion duct tape. Um, so that's going to sit in there, and I'm going to store it in the pantry where it can't tip over or no one can get to it and kick it over by accident because I do have a messy pantry right now. And that's going to store for minimum two weeks, maximum, I mean, as long as you want, but it is December 1st, so three weeks would put us right before Christmas Eve, and then that's when you make a simple syrup and just mix it in, and there's your lemon goose, lemon goose, lemon cello, which I'll probably either, I think I have some clear jars, uh, one time we just put it right back in there, um, so yes. Two weeks minimum, three weeks is great, up to probably five weeks if you can, um, but we're going to store it in the pantry for three weeks right before Christmas Eve, and then I'll show you what we do after that. So it's been three weeks since I stashed this in the pantry floor, and look at how yellow it is. <clears throat> the vodka is nice and yellow. Ooh, you can smell the lemons. Okay, so now to make the um, <clears throat> the simple syrup, you need, and I followed the Giada de Laurentiis. I've looked at David Rocco and Giada. So two and a half cups, three, no, sorry, three and a half cups water. That's two. One and a half. It's three and a half cups. I should have did the sugar first. Let me dry this. And then three and a half cups of, sh no, sorry, two and a half cups. Let me get this right again. Three and a half cups of water to two and a half cups of sugar. And then we're going to put this on the stove top and let this all dissolve. So turn on the flame and you don't want the sugar to burn, but you're going to keep, you're going to do this until the sugar's dissolved. And there's your simple sugar, your simple syrup. While the sugar is dissolving in the water, I'm going to remove the peels. So limoncello is not really that hard to make, but it's so delicious. So me and John have been making this every year for Christmas. Um, one year we made a couple of bottles, but, um, we need the space and you need enough people that would want to drink it. Cause literally this is a type of drink that you, you just do by the shot. You, you can't drink glasses of this stuff. So it's a great party liquor. And then... John's aunt a long time ago used to make cranberry vodka, so obviously it's the same thing. You just soak the cranberries in vodka and then add the simple syrup. But it is a sweet, sweet drink, so proceed with caution. Okay. So now this is dissolved. The sugar is not in crystal form anymore. So I'm gonna turn off the fire and then it has to cool down because you don't want to put the hot sugar syrup in the alcohol because then <laughs> it'll get rid of the alcohol. You don't want that to burn off. What's the point then? So we're gonna let that cool. So this is nice and cool now. And it looks dark because this is organic, like, you know, sugar, not bleach sugar. So yeah. So now I'm gonna start putting it in the vodka. 
all mixed. Now we're gonna funnel it back into the empty bottle. Here, Marco, hold up. Yep, there it is. Just to make sure all particles are out. Pour it all? As much as it will fit in the bottle. So you gotta get it in the middle. All right, you get the idea. Great start. Don't worry, it's fine. Because that might make more than the 750 milliliters because I had to add three and a half cups of it water. Will. It is. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. yeah. There you go. That's one bottle. That's one bottle. Oh. That's <laughs> so one I bottle of vodka things. would actually make you two bottles of limoncello. At least. Nice. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Remember in the middle. And then there's Celine on the chair. There you go. Makes great gifts. Hope it's going to fall. Cranberry one, too. I thought you were paying attention, Michael. You're not? You You're the one pouring it. You should be the one paying Someone attention. Has. You think I'm drunk? Someone has to. <laughs> Someone has to. This is spicy well, eggnog. Is. Yeah, one sip of eggnog. This is going to make more than two. More than two. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, my, oh no, no, no. Right to the rim. That is, oh, my God. <laughs> so you didn't have to worry about Third that. Third bottle. Thank goodness I had extra empty bottles. Yeah, thank God like you had one. Thank yeah, God so you had, leaves in. Thank God you had 300 bottles in the bottle. <laughs> right. I Imagine you only had one. Well, I, yeah. I probably should have put that in a jar then. Anyway. So that is the limoncello. So and, one bottle of vodka. And it's a mess on the counter. And a mess on the counter. So that's some rum. Yep. So that's oh, yeah, limoncello. Oh, okay. Merry Christmas. I'll post the recipe below. So there's the limoncello. Makes great gifts. Makes holidays fun. Um... Again, I did the recipe by Giada de la Rentes, and I'll post that below with the link. A um, lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy. Merry Christmas. Have a safe and healthy, happy one.